Martin. I'm this Ben and Nicola from Dare to Begin Life Coaching. And sorry, you guys, for everything. I've had a few complaints about um, I haven't done videos for a while. I think I've got a little bit caught up with work and the new year has started because I've got an English Institute and the new year started and it just, whoa, it was a little bit intense for me. I got really bogged down with work and I just, from the bottom of my heart, you guys are such faithful people and if I've let anyone down, please forgive me. Uh, yeah, work took over and um, yeah, I just want to apologize for that. Um, yes, today we're looking at happiness. Okay, I know we've done it in the past, but um, I think it's really important through this time that we see happiness for, for, um, for what it is. Um, many of us are trying to chase after it and, and trying to hold on to it, but sometimes we can't just hold it in our hands. It, it, it goes. <laughs> Um, yeah, happiness is temporary and, you know, like I've said in the past, it's like an ocean and we have waves of happiness and happiness can come rolling in and it's a beautiful thing when it comes, but it's temporary and we get that sense of enjoyment and all that, but it just goes out again and, and then something might happen in our life, an event might happen and it's out of our control and we get angry and and that's when you know the the sea you know the wave we we're on that anger wave where it 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 hits us hard and we're angry and it and it just smashes against the rocks and then we can feel a calm feeling so the calm is the gentle tides anyway life is about it's about waves, okay? So happiness is not so much, we can't actually grab happiness and hold on to, to hold on to it. It's like an elusive idea. It's, um, it's temporary. Um, and, and many of us in this world, we sort of, we want quick fixes of happiness. And that might be um, just to get that quick fix. You know, and it's not real, and and that could come in. For me, comfort food, eating. It could come in the oxytocin and sex. It could come in adrenaline, charged gambling. Many of us gamble. Uh, the temptations there, like drugs, maybe um, I don't know. Um, sort of, yeah, just trying to numb our feelings out. Um, also, many of us are looking for happiness, which are quite constructive, and that could be um, trying to get a promotion or even getting a promotion. So they're more constructive, temporary happiness. But what happens when you get the promotion? You all of a sudden you sink down again, and so that's another issue that we, you know, that we might face. <sighs> yeah. So. Um, we can't look for the worldly possessions of happiness. That's not going to work. Okay, so um, we've got to look more at an inward happiness. Recently, I have found a spiritual happiness. And it's a happiness from within my soul, within my, um, within my heart, within my soul. It's the connection to... For me, it's the connection with the higher power. Um, but as I said, we call the higher power anything. For me, it's God. It could be Allah. It could be Buddha. It could be your higher self. But for me, I've become quite connected to, to God lately. And I've been going to church every week. I've been going to confession every fortnight. And it's like... This unwavering calmness has come, has gone through me. And like little things that are happening that I thought would upset me in the past, they're not happening, they're not, they're not upsetting me. It's just, I'm, I've got into this like river, this, this river of happiness. It's not the excitement maybe of 
of op the oxytocin and sex or it's not the excitement of gambling or drugs or alcohol or it's not that excitement that doesn't last but what this happiness is is you're letting go and you're surrendering and and you're just letting go of life and you're giving it you're you're asking you're humbling yourself and you're getting right into your core into yourself and you're getting to know you and you're getting help this assistance this power from above and for, for me this happiness has come with confessing my my wrongdoings and making amends of the things that I have I have done like not wanting to but maybe I've hurt someone and actually being accountable and telling like my priest my confessor um, and and telling him you know everything that I've done during during that those two weeks and and making amends to become a person with integrity and a person who um, who really cares about other people um, and so it's not this spiritual feeling it's not it's 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 like me being a spiritual being connected not connected to this worldly limitation that has got boundaries that has confined me but actually going into the universe of God which is so abundant and so much love and being connected to this group this church this these people who are trying to better themselves but as I said it might not be a church you go to you know everybody's finds their spiritual place in their own way um, there's you know Pythagoras he says um, man know thyself and thou shall know the universe and God and so through confessing and telling and telling my sins to my father my spiritual father I'm getting to know myself and going into the dark places that you know I've wronged people or I've, I've let myself down and making amends and and by making amends you become a much better version of yourself um, yeah and and the inner world that you go into where you're not worried about the possessions of this world I mean who cares if I'm sitting on a a chair that's worth um, I don't know a hundred euros or if, if my chair is five euros I mean it's about it's about letting go of of the worldly possessions and actually looking at the gifts of giving and and letting go of expectations like if I if I help someone and even a sinner I mean because I'm a sinner but even if I help uh, if I help someone letting go of the expectation that that person is going to help me back you give because it's the it's it feels good you give because when you're giving it's passing through you this love and you're giving to somebody else so it's about letting go of the worldly possessions and just go into that spiritual calm like slow flowing river that won't waver it's unwavering we're just all imperfect human beings making the best doing the best that we can and you know just being vulnerable and admitting your faults and becoming better um, yeah um, yeah so basically what it's about is when you come to spirit darkness cannot be there darkness cannot um, cannot touch you because um, as Martin Luther King Jr. says, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light cannot, uh, can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. So you guys, let's love and let's be happy and find that inner peace, that inner love, and get connected to something that's bigger and stronger than us. Um, very quickly I would like to quickly say hello to Tina Max 
Hello, my beautiful. And Mac, how are you guys? Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. I love you guys. Um, yes, and that's it from me, from Cypress. Love you guys heaps. And remember, go into that spiritual world, the inner world, where nothing can touch you. Nothing can hurt you. And keep the expectations away. We don't need to expect of this world. Okay, once we're going into the inner world, we can be free of expectations. I love you guys heaps. Oh, hello, Anita. You've, you've joined us. Hi, Anita. We're going to go and walk the dog soon. Hey, <laughs> and I want you, got, you to come around for dinner tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to say peace, love and rainbows from Cypress. This is this been in a cola from Dear to Begin Life Coaching. Love you guys heaps. Love you. And bye you guys. <laughs>